Hey everybody, I'm trying to get my OctaTrack working with my modular system. And so far I'm making progress. I connected the MIDI um, in on my Dofer module to the MIDI out on my OctaTrack. And then I did a simple patch. I patched the clock on the Dofer A190. If we follow this route, that actually gets patched the black cable into the anti-oscillator uh, EXT input. Then I took a gate patch from the um, gate on the Dofer and I patched that to the gate um, patch point on the Dofer envelope generator. Then the next thing I did is I patched the um, output from the Mayhem on a Moleco to the input on the Borg filter. So, and then on the OctaTrack, the setup I did for MIDI, if you press the MIDI button, oops, I don't wanna do that. So if I double click on that, um, the MIDI channels are assigned. So if I look on these tracks, um, this is the settings I have um, on the MIDI. I haven't changed these, but if you go to function, I think MIDI setup, if I go project, settings under MIDI channels so this is what I have set on my MIDI channels um, and then when I went out on the uh, trigger channels and I went to sync this is what I have set on my OctaTrack these settings to send and receive clock so uh, what I can do is I can, and I made these um, OctaTracks, uh, don't want to do that, and just click on no. Um, channels, yes, so this is how you assign your, your channels. Um, then I just cancel it out of that. And now these are, um, oops, I want to do that. These are actually, um, these are the settings on my OctaTrack channels. They're um, flexible machines, I believe. So the one thing I'm able to get working, and then on a dope fur, you have a menu where it's kind of obtuse, so you just click on the little plus signs. Um, note menu, I think, is where you set your channels, and you press this, go enter, and you go, yeah, channel, and you go next, reference. Uh, these are the settings. So you can go back here, enter. So this is channel one. So that's what I have set to track one on my octa track. So then after I turn up the VCA, so I can hear, and I press on my octa track keyboard, nothing comes out. So I'm just gonna, um, it was working before, but okay, so it looks like the channel for track one is not set up correctly. And if I change my envelope to a really fast attack. Yeah, I have that same problem, but it's also muted. Yeah, so this is the troubleshooting part I'm doing to try to get this to work. And if I go, let's see. Oh, okay, so that's how you change it on a dofer. So, um, yeah, so I have it set. So if you go, you can change it on a Dofer module. So that's your channel settings. And this is enter. So that's channel one. And I can go back. So if I get out of this menu, this is note menu. And go back here. That's the firmware version. So this is the patch setup I have on my modular with the Borg filter and the other settings. So I'm trying to get it to sequence. Maybe I need to do another patch point um, with my um, Dofer. But uh, I try to record a pattern. But if I go on tap tempo, so it does send a signal. So see, if you look at the light, it's showing a clock. That's a good sign. 
So it is, it is sending control voltage to my doofer. But the problem I'm having is um, getting the pattern, or they call them trigs in Octatrack, to work. So it's so frustrating. Okay, that works, that stops playback. Now, because this is an oscillator, it's still gonna keep going because it's patched into the modular. Now, if I do the record, can I record a pattern? On any of those tracks? That, at least I'm making progress. So if I hit this. So I'm halfway there. And so hopefully I can figure this out. Um, I like to use my Octatrack to layer effects and sequence my modular gear.